you do one thing every morning for your health, like millions of other people? No, I don't mean brushing your teeth. I mean take vitamin pills. I'll tell you now, I don't take any vitamins, but I want to find out if I should. And if I did, what would they do for me? I'm Dr. Giles Yeo. As a scientist, I investigate our genes, our diet, and our health. I want to find out if the vitamins, minerals, botanical supplements are all that they appear to be. I'll try to find out what supplements are actually doing for our health by digging deeper than the eye-catching words on the packaging. For a lot of people, it'll not do what it says on the tin. I'll put our diets to the test oh my God. to discover who really needs a supplement. Those curly fries gave her almost 50% of her daily folate. And I'll investigate if antioxidant vitamins A, C and E are really the miracle for our health that we've been promised. If we can take antioxidants, we can prolong uh, the life, uh, we can stop the diseases from appearing. At least that was the theory. And how science may now be revealing what antioxidant supplements could actually be doing to us. In the Olympic centers worldwide, this topic was heavily debated and then some of the centers even uh, totally uh, removed antioxidants for, from their training schedule. Is it time we took a really rigorous scientific approach to these everyday miracle pills? Supplements are sold on high streets everywhere. The industry is worth more than 400 million pounds in this country alone. You can buy them over there, you can buy them over there, you can even buy them back there. Nearly half of us take a vitamin or mineral supplement every day. How did this come to be? The story begins more than 130 years ago at a Dutch Army Research Institute in Indonesia. In the 19th century, there were these mysterious diseases that weren't caused by germs. One was rickets, another was scurvy, and then there was beriberi, which can damage the nervous system or lead to heart failure.